Good morning folks from a very cold morning. Again, back close to home working that little mini project. Um, bitter cold, it's about zero degrees. But the wind, the breeze, it actually actually feel a lot colder. Um, exploring compositions and an out looking back and towards the, the Maiden's Tower that sits, sits here, it's probably the most famous landmark in the area. And I'm deliberately underexposing the scene I've come. I've set up here because I've got the moon in the background. I don't want to make sure, don't want to blow those highlights out, but I think the underexposed and, and the, the silhouettes of the trees that I have here is making for some interesting uh, compositions. So I'm going to try one or two more before the sun gets up in another half an hour or so. And I actually think I may have got a picture this morning, surprising because I wasn't sure whether to come here or not. But yeah, you know, that's what the photography is all about sketching new scenes, new compositions, and see which one works and which doesn't. So I'm back in that location I've been stalking as such for the last few weeks. No boats expected this morning, but it was a beautiful sky. And the distance there, it looks like it's actually raining or snow starting. Dramatic light, so I'm hopeful that the light is, I'm confident that the light is brilliant, but the composition is definitely still missing something. So I'm just gonna take a couple of exposures here and bracket. Oh. Beautiful. I got a two stop soft case grad in place here just to keep detail and colors in the sky. And as the sun gets up any minute now, it's going to light up the land here. And I'm hoping for some contrast with lights and shadows in the foreground. Beautiful, beautiful composition. But what I'm really missing is just something in that foreground. But let's see what happens. So cold. Absolutely beautiful condition at this moment in time. Beautiful dramatic light raking across the coastline here. The tower over there is side light by the rising sun. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got this hole in the clouds which the tower is sitting in, which I think is really helping lift the scene. Um, the location and the composition, I'm actually really happy with. The light is stunning. And every time I'm here, the light is stunning. But I just think it's missing something still in the river. I need a boat or something to go up that river. Um, but either way, look, this is on my own doorstep, so I'll be back numerous times. And it's April now, so the rising, the rising, April showers and all that, guaranteed to get some dramatic light here in the coming weeks. Setup wise, pretty basic. I've got the 16 to 35 mil on, uh, case, two stop grad on just to help stop the highlights in the sky from being blown out, and F11 ISO 100, nothing too major there.
Oh, so another beautiful morning here in Mornington, uh, down at the mouth of the River Boyne. Uh, it's probably the fourth or fifth time I've been here in recent weeks, uh, or days I should say, and I'm amazed at the compositions I'm starting to see that I've never noticed before. Uh, so really happy about that. Um, the composition I was working this morning is one I used, I worked a few days ago. Really happy with it, but I, part of me thinks it needs like a, a boat to go up the river. And anytime I come here looking for boats, uh, they either don't come up it or they don't leave port or they drop anchor at the mouth of the Boyne and I'm left there twiddling my thumbs. Either way, uh, I'm enjoying this little mini project. It's um, April now and typically a time of dramatic skies and dramatic change in light uh, in the Irish landscape. So I'm going to come back here numerous times over the coming month and hopefully I get some worthwhile images, some beautiful light and maybe a boat or two to go up the river. Until then, I'll say goodbye. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, Aslan.